Hey everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. Um, it's me, Jill. Um, I'm going to go through the rigmarole first because I tried doing the other stuff first and I forgot to go through the rigmarole for YouTube and Rumble. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up or hit the like. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have on YouTube at Creating with Love Crafting a giveaway at 500. Your instructions will start when I hit 400 subscribers. I appreciate every comment you leave and I will answer them back. And uh, just make sure your comments are kind like the last few ladies that have been leaving comments. They are so wonderful and encouraging. And thank you very much. Please share each video with your crafty friends and your family. That That's what makes um, YouTube channels grow. Uh, come and join us on Facebook, Creating with Love Crafting. It is a group for crafters to show off their lovely things you cannot sell on there and people are going on there to preach so uh, certain things i don't know and then they're doing contests so that's not allowed but you can show your um your projects and you know comment and like other people's projects too um come join us on instagram come and join me on rumble uh, Instagram is creating with love crafting rumble is creating with love crafting all one word and then come see me on Etsy I have a store which this will be uploaded into it's called create with love one every single um, link is down in the below oops sorry down below in the description okay so I made this junk journal it is um five i think in one sixteenth and seven and a quarter so guys this is an irregular looking junk journal because i made this i wanted to challenge myself to make something out of a food box that's right, you heard me, a food box. I made this out of a food box. It is a gluten-free banana bread cake mix, okay? So that's what, that's what this is. Um, I covered it with a brown paper bag and I used my Hobby Lobby eight by 11 pads of paper I got for Christmas Christmas papers it has a flap that goes down I made this little thing you wrap the twine around I don't know what to call it let's just call it a closure I made that out of three pieces of wood where I got wood pieces in a bag from the Dollar Tree. So you can see, let me turn this way so you can get better look. So you can see I glued two little pieces of wood together with wood glue and then this one on top and then I painted the top of it, okay? And through the back, you can see there's a knot back here and then when you turn it this way okay you can see there's a hole through here now I need to get myself an eyelet punch I would have put an eyelet in here but you know an eyelet center sent uh, an eyelet setter okay I would have put an eyelet in here but this is rough for now but and then I used a red piece of twine and three black wooden beads which I think will it goes well with the little guy on top and it goes well with the knob here the closure so on the spine inside and out okay on the box I covered the box spine 
with some material. Then this is a three signature book, okay? And there is <clears throat> an inside spine right here that I glued, that not glued, that I sewed three signatures to. This is, all these papers are from, most of them I think, are from the Hobby Lobby Christmas 8 by 11 stacks of paper that I bought. Um, I got them pretty cheap, either half price or 40% off. But I was looking for paper I could use this year. Because um, I wasn't happy with other paper from other store. Okay, this is a greeting card and I puff, uh, bumped it up with mounting tape. This is another piece of the box that I built up, layered up twice, and then covered with a paper bag. Sorry. And I made it into a tuck spot. Here's some rickrack here. This flaps over here just to close the journal. Okay. And then here is some um, washi tape, some black cardstock. All right, so some black cardstock outlines the whole journal um, on the inside. Okay, the cover, the journal cover. So I hope I explained myself okay. I use three types of glue to um, glue the spine in. I use Fabri-Tac because this is fabric, okay, on the inside. Then I use Fast Grab Tacky Glue, and then I use E6000 right here. All my books get you get put together that way, okay? It's very, very strong. So, anyways, all these journal pat all these journal cards are made. This one was made last year. This one was made this year. So this one has a little handle I made out of the Hobby Lobbies. And this was Michael's paper. This is what I didn't want anymore. I gave it all away um, except for, um, I think it was uh, the Snowman paper pad I got this year. and But I made this last year. It's a nice little journal card that I stashed away to use for a journal. And... It's appropriate call, appropriate call, appropriately called <laughs> Let's Build a Snowman. So this is a greeting card and some more of the Hobby Lobby paper. All of this, I believe, is Hobby Lobby paper. This, my dears, is a cute little pad I bought at the dollar, no, I think this was Walmart. Yeah, I got that real cheap this year. 99 cents, 98. And then when I'm going through old magazines my mother is just like giving to me, I find all the images I like. Then I fussy cut them out and save them like ephemera pieces and I use them. So here's another thing. This is one of those um, coffee dyed envelopes. I coffee dyed a couple years ago, but never used. And I lined it with all the stuff. This is a wooden snowflake from Hobby Lobby and some ribbon on the end here. So here's some coffee dyed paper. All of this, Th no, it's tea dyed. Most of my papers in my journals now are tea dyed. Here is a business envelope that I used this way instead of up and down because I wanted to use them as pockets instead of creating pockets. So here's another journal card. This is ribbon. And here's more ribbon. So I hope you like these guys. Um, uh, I'm not going to put them in there. I'm just going to flip through. 
So here's some printer paper that I tea dyed. And then I found doilies that I really, really liked. Isn't that pretty? Different color doilies. I've also found some heart ones recently, and I'm going to use those. And then we have more. More journal cards. And here's a little tag from the Dollar Tree from a couple years ago. I still have them in my stash. And here's a window in this um, business card, business envelope. And I show you, I use the windows like that. See the little snowman peeking through saying hello? Or I could just put the Christmas trees in, but this is a snowman themed um, notebook. There's a lot of paper in this one. Yeah, this is. Uh, Um, different paper, composition book papers, and then this is a very long note kind of thing, like a note card, and this is a very long kind of note card. This is a snack sack that I put everything into, and then I embellished it with paper. Why am I saying thing? Because it's going out of my brain as to what these are. They are journal cards. So. All right. So I think that the light is not good. All right. Here you go. So this is a little snack sack. And then, um, or they call them black glassine envelopes or something like that. I don't know. And that's the end of the first um, signature. So I had picked me up a package of, at the Dollar Tree, of um, things like felt kit. And it had three things in it. And the, this one is, they had a reindeer and something else. And then this, snowman. So I decided to put a felt snowman inside here. How do you like it? It's on here with Fabri-Tac, so it's going to stay. And here's another one of those other envelopes I used that are weird sized. It's a greeting card envelope. So I made this, um, I made this, and I put ribbon across it. And then this is, I fussy cut out this old time picture of a snowman hugging children. I love it. It's really cute. It reminds me of one of my old um, Christmas cards back then. Then you flip through a few more pages. There's a lot of papers in here to journal on, guys. And then here's another journal card. This is another envelope made this way. Greeting card. And then I used the window to show this journal card. So this and then some rickrack on it. I wanted to use blue. Printer paper. Tea dyed. And then a beautiful doily in the middle. I had gotten three packs of doilies for Christmas this year. It was red, green, and holly. And then this, more of this. Another tuck spotter pocket made out of a um, business envelope and then save your business envelopes you can make those kind of cute tuck spots and then you go here all right I'm sorry about that I got to keep pausing because somebody keeps coming in the kitchen and talking in the background so here's the other part of it then we have more paper all right, so um, here's another long journal card. You just open it up and write what you want in it. People's numbers, whatever you want, dates of things. And here's another journal card that goes into this little snack sack or glassine bag. Um, 
I lined it with some ribbon and some snowman paper and then snowflake paper and then here's a greeting card right here I fussy cut him out as best as I could I thought he went well with the plaid background here's another envelope that I coffee dyed the rest is tea dyed here's a little guy I fussy cut him out uh, it says let it snow and then I put a black strip of paper here and I made my own snowflakes and dots. Then, oh, sorry, it keeps moving. Then more paper, different papers. You'll notice different types of papers in here. Another one with a fussy cut. This is an ad. All of these little guys were in an ad, so I used them. So, here's a snowflake here. It's kind of holographic. Okay. And then another journal card here. I left it plain. And then a piece of ephemera right here. I believe this is either from, um, I think this one's from Michael's. Sometimes I go in there when there's a good sale. And I got him on clearance last year, I think. So this is all printer paper. All tea dyed printer paper. Just that one, two of the um two or three of the envelopes were coffee dyed. And along comes another journal card with pom poms up here. I have trim that has pom-poms on it. And I said, well, maybe I should use that. And here's some more down here. I used the window of a business card. And then a snowflake here. And then this says, let it snow with a piece of ephemera from Hobby Lobby. I think. A piece of ribbon across here. More papers. Another glassine bag or snack bag. And this is from the Dollar Tree. It is a tag. And then I made another journal card with ribbon on top and Rick Rack for a handle. Right there. And Rick Rack across it. And on the back, I just left it plain like that. Hmm, guys, I keep moving it around. Then there is a pocket on the back with a couple of more journal cards. This one I made last year with my Michaels paper, which is now gone because I gave it to someone. I made a little journal card with a pocket. It goes in a pocket here. I fussy cut the little snowman and the reindeer out. And I used cardinals in the background. And then I put snowflakes on top here for a handle. And there you go. And red rick rick rack. So guys, we're gonna tie this up here like this. Oops. And it goes three times around and you let it hang. And it stays closed. Um so this is um when, it, when I put this up on Etsy, you'll know how many pages are in it because I didn't count it right now. I will count it. I think there's like 60-something pages in here. I'm not sure. So um, thank you guys for watching this one, and I'm glad you liked it. Thank you, Lord, for um, healing our nation. Thank you, Lord, for healing our bodies and our minds and our souls from all the damage that has been done from the virus and all the um, all the violence out there. Thank you, God, for um, just loving us and filling us with your love. And Jesus, we know you're real. Thank you for hanging on the cross. Forgive us of our sins. And we take you into our lives, our hearts, and we ask you to be we ask you to be Lord of our lives. 
and guide us each and every day of our lives. We are your ch children, God, in the name of Jesus. These things I pray. Okay, guys, sorry about uh, this being extremely long and going, uh-uh, but <laughs> I hope you like it. And I hope you try to make something out of a box. This was, and I'm going to say it again, a banana bread mix box. So I hope it impresses you. And um, I don't know if I'm going to attempt that again. I may and I may not. So anyways, we're going to get on with another video. And guys, be blessed today and every day and keep creating with love.